three judges said today that if a trans couple, if in a trans couple one identifies as male and one identifies as female, then that marriage is recognized by law. There is no bar to that marriage. There were very detailed observations given by the Chief Justice with regard to uh, protections to be given to queer couples. And throughout the word, the queer cup, the word queer has been used as inclusive. Chief Justice and Justice Call also spoke of the right of queer couples to adopt. And this is something that was extremely important. There were four separate judgments today. Um, the Chief Justice and Justice Call together it elucidated a very important set of legal and jurisprudential principles. They said that uh, the right to marriage is located in Article 21 and in various aspects of, there's no fundamental right to marriage, but aspects of the right to marriage are located in various uh, parts of the Constitution, including Article 21, for example, which is the right to dignity. Um, they also said, three judges said today, that if a trans couple, if in a trans couple one identifies as male and one identifies as female, then that marriage is recognized by law. There is no bar to that marriage. There was a judgment called Arun Kumar um, from the Madras High Court that laid down this principle. But today, that is now nationally applicable. Um, the third thing is that there were very detailed observations given by the Chief Justice with regard to uh, protections to be given to queer couples. And throughout the word, the, queer cup, the word queer has been used as inclusive of not just same-sex couples, but also trans couples. And this is very important because it includes non-binary people. Um, and there are various aspects of protection under the criminal law that have been very specifically elucidated and take the law forward. There, are, uh, there were judgments that spoke of the obligation of the state to look at civil union, to examine uh, the way in which the relationships of queer couples can must be respected and uh, recognized in terms of the various accoutrements to um, a long and solid relationship. The Chief Justice and Justice Call also spoke of the right of queer couples to adopt. And this is something that was extremely important because um, they looked at the CARA guidelines and they found that a loving home is something that a queer couple can provide as much as any other couple and um, they recognized that explicitly. Unfortunately, uh, Justice Bhatt did not agree with that and felt that this is something that um, should be examined more closely. There was... Uh, there were some opportunities today, I believe, that have been pushed off to the legislatures and the central government has made their stand clear with regard to marriage. We hope that their committee will ensure that civil unions are recognized um, and that the concomitants of marriage are then brought in to law, at least with regard to civil unions. But I will also say that the Congress and other governments in power in the states have many opportunities to bring into law the recognition of rights and the recognition, for example, of a partner's right to make medical decisions because they can legislate on health, they can look at employment non-discrimination, they can look at, there's a lot that can be done. And if it is the legislature's responsibility, when the opposition parties speak, those that are in power in the state governments, let us not hear 
any let us not hear mere condemnation or any uh, detraction from anyone else's position let us see affirmative work to protect the rights of all citizens if they say that they stand with all citizens let them put their money where their mouth is and let them put their democratic mandate where their mouth is mouth is and protect the rights of all citizens in legislation in office orders in notifications everywhere that queer rights deserve to be protected if there's anything that we heard today that was unanimous it was that queer citizens have rights that marriage is not something that they are going to give us today but that the rights of queer citizens must be protected and the state governments can protect them today.